want to do, I'm going to take my bore readings before, then I'm going to lap it. Then I'm going to take my bore readings after to see what change I have. And then what that does for my piston clearance and my ring gaps and so forth. So um, I'm going to be taking my readings at three position, 10 millimeter from the top, 10 millimeter from the bottom of the stroke, strokes 89. So that'll be 79 millimeter. And the difference between those two right around 45 millimeter in the center, I'm going to be taking my readings. So I'm going to go through how I do one and then uh, the rest will typically be the same. So the first thing that I do is that I set my caliper to the factory bore maximum limit, 89.02 millimeters. Okay, so it's 89 millimeter plus 0 0.02 millimeter tolerance. So I set my caliper to that, then I set my bore gauge so when I am at the exact bore dimension of 89.02 millimeter my pointer goes to zero so that'll tell me if if I put this into the bore and I go right to zero then it's telling me that bore is exactly 89.02 millimeter anything to the left of that is where it's never going to go to the right. Uh, it, it might because it's a 0 0.02 tolerance, so it might go all the way a little bit. But typically what you're going to see, it's going to be to the left, anywhere between 2 and 0. And that's the amount of wear that you have in that cylinder. What you are going to find, because your pistons actuate on this way, you're going to find more wear this way than you do this way. So you're going to find near perfect cylinder bore this way all the way across but you're going to find a decent amount of wear maybe a thousand one and a half thousands of wear all across but we're going to compare that uh, to the running clearance of the bore and the piston diameters and make sure that we are within tolerance and acceptable criteria to build this engine so that's the first step okay we're going to go in here See where that goes? It's about two tenths, point zero 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 two. So it's got two tenths of a wear. It's pretty near close to factory spec. Okay. About the same thing. Go to the bottom. Well, that's pretty much factory spec right there see zero okay you can see here the top has got a wear of two tenths the middle two tenths but the bottom is right on spec at 3.5047 okay Got about 1,000 right there. See that? Let's go to the middle. About seven tenths. Bottom. Four tenths. So top, one thousandths. Middle, seven tenths, bottom, four tenths. So now we're gonna have to just compare these. So you're gonna have some out of roundness. You're gonna have some taper. We'll have to make sure that's within factory uh, tolerance. Then we're gonna compare the piston diameter to the cylinder bore and see what the running clearance is, okay? So uh, that's pretty much how we uh, do the cylinder bore measurement. The other ones are just repeat and it'll be similar. So the next step that we're going to do after this we're going to go ahead and lap it and i'll go through how i do that next okay